Okie dokie. So here's here's Ozzy's life pod. Scans show a nearby cave entrance. Depth 90 meters. Leave, Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Fuck off. Ah! <laughs> Get away from me. Ozzy's log. What? <gasps> the, the crash. I don't know what the heck is happening. I'm scared and I'm not going outside. Give me a shadows Get, go. in the water under the hatch. Oh my god! Three, two, one. I'm flying! Oh shit! Ah crap. Oh boy, that's a problem. I've got my skull! Ow, my head <laughs> hurts. Oh god, everything's on fire. Oh, but damn it! Give me this. It fire burns. It burns. Okay, okay. Boot up, damn you. You're slower than my computer at home. You have suffered minor head trauma. This is considered an optimal outcome. This PDA has now rebooted in emergency mode with one directive to keep you alive on an alien world. Please refer to the data bank for detailed survival advice. Good luck. Well, to be fair, I wasn't using my brain much anyway. Hello everybody, my name is the Mr. Draven Cat, and welcome to Subnautica! Now, uh, I am playing on my Nintendo Switch because, uh... Well, it turns out I thought I, I thought I owned it on Xbox, turns out I didn't. And I can't acquire a copy at the moment. <clears throat> and let's just say you don't want to see what my PC port of this looks like. Because, uh, I'll tell you this much. If you think the Switch is bad, play on a low-end PC. You'll be grateful this thing exists. So, uh, we have a few things to go get. Let's see where we spawn. Okay, it's not bad. Oh, there's some crates below it. Are the Oh! Oh, we, that is optimal. That is optimal. The Aurora okay. Orbital hull failure. Cause unknown. Zero human life signs detected. Everybody's dead. So, um, I do enjoy this game a lot. I really do. I say that a lot about other, a lot about games all the time, but I really mean it when I say I enjoyed this game. It's probably one of my most played games from, uh, 2020. Even though this game did not come out in 2020, I'm pretty sure it came out way before then. But anyways, we're on a journey today. Oh, God. <laughs> Get away from me, ass hat. Okay. Anyways, we're gonna uh, we're gonna survive. We got this. If the monsters would stop trying to eat me for five seconds. Oh, copter is an essential component of all powered equipment. Your probability of survival has just increased to unlikely. <laughs> Thanks for having faith in me, my PDA friend. I want to give you a nickname. What should I nickname you? Hmm. I'm gonna call the AI Sally in this. Anyways, uh, we have quite a bit. Of, we have quite a bit to do. We have quite a bit to do indeed. We need to. We need to make a repair unit so we can repair our ship that is currently smoking. Okay, make a battery. Make some O2 tanks. 
and make a scanner. The scanner can be used to synthesize blueprints from salvage technology and to record alien biological data. There we go, we got some goodies all around. Essential in construction of vehicles and power plants. The fabricator draws from available data to provide environment appropriate equipment using locally available materials. For your safety, this setting cannot be overridden. We can scan things now. Oh my, we get Sea Glide right off the freaking bat. That is fucking lucky. I am the luckiest duck. Okay. See if there's any uh, other. Ooh, actually, oh yeah, after we uh, find uh, stuff, we can still scan fragments for titanium. Useful! So, get, uh, finish that scanning that, please. We can also scan alien life, but uh, that's not important right now. Okay, dokie. So I need to get my hands on titanium, cave sulfur, and we need to grab some. Uh, we still need to grab one, some more of that. Uh, what is it called? Creep vine seed cluster. That's what we need to grab. And get out of here before those sharks come back. Oxygen. Boom. I also love the soundtrack in this game. It's amazing. Okay, uh, we need to find a small cave system of sorts. So we need to find some of the... I think they're called crash fish? There should be some hiding underneath here. Hello? Howdy hoody! Knock knock! There's no one here. Okay, so that's a little unlucky. Because, uh... There's no explodey fish. Let's see if there's any hiding over here. Here we go. Anybody home? Hello? Seriously? Not one freaking pot of exploding fish? That's a volcano. At least I think that's a volcano. That's a volcano. We found another one of like, oh, we found another one of the camp, but no crash fish. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Nope, that's, oh, hello. Give me all these. But we're literally sitting on top of a volcano, are you kidding me? So, give me that nice silver and gold boost. 30 seconds. There's no crash fish. Okay, it's getting dark now, and I have not found a single Alien crash fish. Life forms may have unexpected applications. Utilizing alien resources is a proven survival strategy. Can't see shit, Captain. Because these fuckers are gonna sneak up on me. Oxygen. I'm like, oh. I think I found one. Oh, hi. I was right, it is crash fish. Oh shit, oh shit. Fuck you. 
Give me that. Oh, I am on death's door. Oh, I am on death's door. Why am I always on death's door? Alright. I'll meet you back at the light pod. Okie dokie. Now that we're no longer dying. Oh yeah, we can make that soon. We just gotta find more copper. Uh, oh wait, what do I need to make the... Uh, I don't actually, do I not need... Okay, I guess it comes with its own battery. Works for me. Go ahead and make that titanium. Oh yeah, we can also go ahead and make, go make ourselves a silver wiring kit just in case. Uh, okay, so we can find some glass and upgrade our thing already. That's nice. Let's go ahead and make this first, though. And we'll go ahead and make ourselves a knife, too. So we can get the, uh... Weapons were removed from standard survival blueprints following the massacre on Abraxas Prime. The knife remains the only exception. Depicting increased local radiation levels. Trend is consistent with I keep pressing the wrong button. Aurora's drive core sustained during planet fall. Let's fix our radio. Life secondary systems online. Running full environment diagnostic and outputting results to databank. This is alarm. Distress signal received. Rescue operation will be dispatched to your location in nine. 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 Hours. Continue to monitor for emergency transmissions from other life pods. Okay, so we need to get to our hands some quartz. And a lot of copper, because we are like a couple copper short. So we need to have we need to find at least two more copper. If I could fucking see. Whoa, no, thank you. Fuck off. Okay, that, that should be enough creep vine. Also, while we found that copper, uh, we made a little friend. His name is Gary. Gary, say hi. Hello! Look at that million dollar smile. That's it. That's a certified Gary smile. Gary is going to come on many adventures with us. And that's the bladderfish we're going to eat. Slash, turn into water. So, first things first, make some fiber mesh. Next, make some glass. Make a battery. And some copper wiring. Okay. Oh wait, and then uh, we need to open our inventory. Ooh. And take this off right quick. Oh, why, we, why am I, I thought I had enough. I'm, okay, I have one glass short, so we'll have to come back to that one. But now we should be able to make Sea Glide! This is the fastest I've ever made the Sea Glide. The Sea Glide will increase your effective exploration range. For your safety, please pack supplies for long journeys and stay within five kilometers of the nearest life pod or habitat. I keep pressing the wrong damn button. Nah, we don't need to eat that just yet. Okay, let's go find some quartz right quick. Okie dokie, now we can upgrade our water tank. We just gotta make the other glass. And now, voila, high capacity O2 tank. We got oxygen for days. Oh, we can make the reed breather right off the bat. Shit, give me that. That'll definitely help us with the early game. Wait. Cooked food. <gasps> no, I would never do that. I'm not gonna cook, Gary, you sick fuck. Alright. So, next thing on the list we need to make... 
we we don't have the habitat builder. Wait, no, wrong, wrong, wrong. Okay, there we go. Uh, what do we need for, where is it? Oh, okay, so we need, okay, so I had a wiring kit, but I got rid of it. So we need to go find more copper, more silver, and another computer chip to make another, to make a habitat builder so we can build our base. First messages. This is Ozzy from the cafeteria. What the hell, guys? They didn't warn us this might happen. Our pod was almost crushed by the Seamoth Bay on the way down. Now we're hanging on the edge of a cave system, and this grim-looking snake thing is trying to eat through the hull. Come get us already. Signal location uploaded to PDA. We're coming, Ozzy. You're not going to be there, but we're coming. Okie dokie. So here's, here's Ozzy's life pod. Local scans show a nearby cave entrance. Depth 90 meters. Leave, Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Fuck off. You. Ah! <laughs> Get away from me. Ozzy's log. <laughs> the crash. I don't know what the heck is happening. I'm scared and I'm not going outside. Get me away. There are shadows Get, in the water under the hatch, but I can't tell if they're rocks or aliens. And there's weird looking caves nearby. The Aurora was carrying everything needed to build the phase gate. Mobile vehicle bays, bioreactors, propulsion cannons. It had a cinema. There, there was a zero-G gym. My cafe. I don't understand how we're here now. I don't know why no one's coming for me. Ooh. Okay, close call. Literally. Okay, so we have one third of a scanner room, one third of a bioreactor, and two thirds of our. Oh, make that two thirds of a scanner room too as well. We also have two thirds of the sea moth. We just gotta find another sea moth fragment. Oh god, they're everywhere! Oh, there goes our last sea moth fragment. There we go. Jackpot. Give me that shit. And that puts us at two thirds for uh, thirty seconds. Bioreactor. Oh no! We, that gives us the bioreactor. Oops! Get, no! Thank you. You guys are way more aggressive than usual. These guys are. You, these guys usually don't bother me when I do a playthrough. Oh shit! 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 Hold your breath in! Hold your breath in! Hold your breath in! I can make it! I can make it! Woo! Okay, close call. So, yeah, now we got Bioreactor Fragment. That's awesome. So, normally I would explore this thing, but I'm gonna wait till I have some more oxygen and a uh, laser cutter, because we want the laser cutter fragment. But yeah, now we even... We, now we have, uh... Now we have the Seamoth. We can build the Seamoth once we find uh, some mobile vehicle bay fragments. Yeah, now we have we have we have mobile vehicle bay. We need to find the mobile vehicle bay fragments to make the to make the sea moth. We know have a sea, I have a few pieces to make uh, the habitat builder that I was making. I got, I didn't find any copper, but I found like one silver. I have I should have plenty of gold on me. Oop, wrong inventory. Yeah, I got two gold on me, so it means I just need to find I I can find coral, but I need to find silver. And copper. I need to find a lot of copper. I'm probably scooping up one of these wouldn't be a bad idea. Actually, how much titanium? I got. I need. I can scoop up one. What we got in here? Ooh. Ah. Uh, yep. That's exactly what I was looking for. Bingo. One out of three. This might be the luckiest spawn I've ever had, despite the monsters trying to eat me. Ooh! Copper. Copper. No fucking way. Two out of three right off the bat. Hell yeah. Let's see if I can find a third one. Jackpot. We now have the most luckiest freaking spawn. That is like the fastest I've... I know I keep saying it over and over again, but... 
you gotta realize, usually when I play this game, I don't get this lucky. I usually had to go through literal dunes just to find freaking sea glide fragments. But in the span of freaking, what, what am I at? 20, 20, 27 minutes. Within the span of 27 minutes, I have found mobile vehicle bay, sea moth, bioreactor, sea glide fragments all in one go. I've had minimal trouble. We did have a little bit of trouble at the start because we had to find crash fish, but again, minimal trouble. Oop, and, uh, oh yeah, this is the updated version of Sonotica, so whenever I cut these, they don't fall into little pieces anymore. I think this is my favorite track of the game. Oh, disappeared. This is LifePod 3, uploading our coordinates. We're plugging some holes in our emergency sea glide, so if we're late for the rendezvous, don't panic. Also, don't go home without us. Seriously. Three out. I can still kind of hear it in the background. Okay, so we need lubricant, titanium ingot, and a power cell. So in order to make that, we need to make... Ooh, actually, we got the titanium ingot right off the bat. So now all we need is lubricant, which is easy to get our hands on. Yeah. Uh, we need to make some silicon rubber, because that's the only way we can make the power cell. Because the power cell requires two batteries. And... Actually, how many... Uh, wrong freaking button. I'm never going to get... Okay, so I need to find one more copper, and then I need to collect four acid mushrooms, and then I can make the uh, the mobile vehicle bay. But uh, we were also focusing on the habitat builder, right quick. Ooh, I don't. Hold on. We still need. To... Correction: We need to find two more freaking copper because I'm about to use this one to make the habitat builder, which we're gonna store for later. But yeah, it's better we we have the habitat builder now, so we can don't have to worry about building it later. There we go, habitat builder made. The builder tool is designed to construct habitats capable of withstanding extreme environmental conditions. Okay, we do need to get our hands on some bladder fish, so I'm gonna do that right quick. Making some water to keep hydrated because we can't drink the seawater. And then one, two, and we're good on water. So there we go, nice and healthy. Let's see. Outgoing rated communication offline, flotation device, full target, okay. Uncharted ocean planet 4546 B, oxygen, nitrogen, and atmosphere. Water bone bacteria levels high. I don't know if that's good. Go ahead, take that. Uh, let's see, what do we got here? Uh, yeah, we gotta go check these guys out. Because I think there's some goodies over there. But yeah, we need to find copper, acid mushroom. Oh, actually, while we're here, we might as well grab, uh, might as well grab the lubrication. There another message? Whoa, it's right, it's right there, really? Hey, leave me alone. I ain't messing with you. Oh, I just heard someone drop their teeth. Integrating new PDA data. Hold up, where? Who, where? Give me like, where, where? Oh, oh, right there. Give me. That is a way, that's a great bonus. So what we just picked up was a uh, stalker teeth. Stalker teeth can make enameled glass. And enamel glass is used for a lot of things, but now that we have a continued degradation of the Aurora's drive core may result in a point of detonation. Continuing to monitor. Okay, thank you. Anyways, uh yeah. Stark T. That's gonna be useful for later. We're gonna keep that. Land pre-recorded mistress call 
This is Life Pod 6. I have a passenger on board. Coordinates attached. We've landed a kilometer from the crash site, but there's radiation in between us and the rendezvous. Request immediate assistance. Six out. Signal coordinates corrupted. Approximate transmission origin recorded to date to bank. Damn, we're gonna need more silver and more copper if, uh... If we're gonna talk to them, but first things first, I want to make the mobile vehicle bay. So... Uh, wait, hold on. What do we need for that? Wait, I can just check here. Okay, so... Okay. So we need a power cell, which means we need to get two more copper, and then we can start saving up for the Seamoth. So let's get it going. I'm, I'll meet you back when I find two copper. I don't know if I want to go down there. Oh shit, Bedberg! So, for those of you wondering, uh, Mez. Oh, hey, copper! We got copper. We can get. We can go make the thing. And in case you're wondering, where did it go? It was just down here. Where did it fucking go? I don't like it. It's it's loose. Anyways, Mesmers, they, they kind of try to hypnotize you to pull you closer, and they, they, their bite is hard. Like, very hard. It is not friendly. So, yeah, now that we got that taken care of, let's go ahead and make some batteries. That is one power so oh wait no wrong one and we have the mobile vehicle bay this is a great start this is genuinely a great start to our playthrough we got all the goodies okay we're gonna temporarily store it in here because it does take up a lot of inventory but we don't need it right now because we don't have the we don't have the uh the parts to make the sea moth wait i think we oh, wrong button i think we can pin the recipes now if I'm not mistaken we can oh that is so useful so yeah now we can just pin the recipes up there we just need a shit ton of more titanium uh, we need to go make find more copper more glass and more lubricant but uh we're gonna temporarily pin that because we don't need it right now because as much as I would like to have a sea moth right now we don't really need it at the moment uh, oh, hey, there's plastium. Why, why do I have plastium? I haven't even found lithium yet. At least the enamel glass makes sense. So, uh... You really think it'll carry two of us? Your regular sea glide tows a mass of 80 kilograms at over 30 kilometers an hour. The power cell rig to this one should double that. You think there's something out there that's faster? Oh, sure. And that's assuming it doesn't overload three meters from the life pod. You're calm about this. I'm seeing the engineering problem. If I stop seeing the maths, I'll be terrified. Okay, well, uh, something tells me they got eaten. I'm just trying to get rid of all these, uh, blips. You, whatever you want to call them. Yeah, there's like so many of these. How many in-game days has it been already? So we're on day three. Three days and we've already got most of the things we need to like bump up our playthrough. Uh, ooh, that's the scanner room. We really don't need it, because I don't really use the scanner room, but it's, like, cool to have, especially if you want to, like, spy on Reapers. Or, like, just indigenous, indigenous life forms. This is Officer Keen in Light Pod 19. Already? The captain is gone. I have assumed command. 
The last thing the captain did was give me coordinates for dry land. We regroup one and a half kilometers southwest of the crash site. Stay together and good luck. This message will now repeat. Dude, how? Rendezvous coordinates corrupted. Transmission origin coordinates downloaded. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Whoa, too many bass drop. Anyways, ah. So here's the bigger question: Why is my game going by so fast? I you uh, uh, you guys don't understand. I'm not used to this going so fast and so smoothly. Like something's gonna bite me in the ass. It's gonna, because that's what Samonica does to you. It it hypes you up and then bites you in the ass, literally. But uh, I'm not used to getting Keen's broadcast. Like usually, I get Yoki Kassars before I get Keen's. But yeah, uh, we definitely want to get the uh, the Sea Moth built before we head out there. Because he's about 300 meters deep, and like I can make like a straight nose dive for it, but chances of living afterward are kind of a uh, kind of zero. Because it's like you you dive down there, you better be fast, and I'm I'm fast, but I don't think I'm that fast. So it's like it's always good to have like a a sea moth to like cover your back. Uh, but unfortunately, we have run into a small snag here. I am out of time for this recording. <laughs> uh, but anyways, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye!